Just to run life's race requires so much grace in this heartless world today. Lessons we must learn around every turn. Obstacles loom in our way. Trials we must bear. We've seen more than our share. But we know why it's so hard. Life should be a cinch when it's lived by the inch. Oh, but character comes by the yard. Character is doing right when everyone is doing wrong. Character is smiling through the tears and simply going on. When our hopes are gone, everything has gone wrong. We remember why it's hard. Life should be a cinch when it's lived by the inch. Oh, but character comes by the yard. Then press on, my friend. There's joy in the end if God's word you will obey. In his word you'll read of strength for your need and of grace to live each day. For life's never fair with its wear and its tear. Dreams once precious are soon marred. Life should be a cinch when it's lived by the inch. Oh, but character comes by the yard. Character is doing right when everyone is doing wrong. Character is smiling through the tears and simply going on when our hopes are gone everything has gone wrong we remember why it's hard life should be a cinch when it's lived by the inch oh but character comes by the yard life should be a cinch when it's lived by the inch oh but character comes by the yard character character many people today are concerned about character character becomes important in our everyday living character is important because as we think of those with whom we deal, we want them to manifest honesty, transparency, and good character. Of course, we want our leaders to demonstrate good character as well. And we hope that we select those who are examples of good character. Uh, today, as we think of character, we think of the book of Proverbs and chapter number three. Verse number one says, My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. When we hide God's word in our heart, as the psalmist has told us in Psalm 119, we do so so that we won't sin. We do so so that it will become a part of us. And that's what comes out. We know from the scriptures that what's in the heart is what comes out of the man or the woman. And today, if we have been trained in righteousness, if we've been trained up properly, if we've been taught correctly, if we've been under the preaching and the teaching of the Word of God, it's going to become a part of the fabric of our character. Decisions that are made will be made on the basis of the Word of God, not on the basis of our emotions, which change and fluctuate, public opinions, which are up and down and all over the radar screen, but Apart from what the man might say or the woman might say, God tells us the truth. And we know that he's the one that guides us through this part of us that we know as character. So is it down deep in your heart? Are you living on the basis 
of right character, right biblical conviction. We can get into the Word until the Word gets into us. And you know, even when everybody else is doing wrong, we can still do right. Let's pray. Father, give us that courage of conviction. Give us that character. Help us to live according to the Word of God. With our heads bowed and our eyes closed, if you've never received Christ and you need to be saved, then today is your day. Won't you call upon the name of the Lord and say something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a lost sinner. I need a Savior. I want Jesus to come in my heart and save me right now. And as you've trusted Him as your Savior, won't you let me know? Those of you that are winning souls, God bless you. We'd love to share and know about those wonderful experiences of winning lost souls. Maybe right now you're the individual to whom the Holy Spirit is speaking. You're convicted in your heart because you're not a man or a woman of character, but rather of emotion or public opinion. Right now we need to, we need to get off that track and get on the right, right track. Let's uh, get into the Word. Lord, I pray that you'll help folks to start making decisions based on truth, based on the Word of God. Help us to live and be people of character, we pray. And Lord, I pray also for those that have special needs today. Help them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Life should be a cinch when it's lived by the inch. Oh, but character comes by the yard. Let's be people of character today. God bless you. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.